Hello everybody, it's the Minecraft Guy 105 here, and today I have um, how to turn any block into a half slab. So you can see here I have uh, diamond half slabs, and all I have to do is walk up it, and then I can just walk back down. And yeah, and if I get a slab out, you can actually see that it's the right size and everything. So if I put a slab like there, there, you can see it's the exact size and it's the same thing so this is exactly like slabs so you can turn any block into a slab um, this is mainly for adventure maps so I'm pr you can't do this in survival is what I'm saying um, it is very cool though so if you want an adventure map oh you can see the redstone there so yeah if you want to use this uh, in your adventure map, then yeah. So I'll put the command in the description, but I'm also going to explain it. So you can see right here how this block is glitching out. They don't always do that, but they do that sometimes. Um, probably especially because I'm recording, but uh, usually it doesn't happen. Also, you can see if I put my uh, plus sign on it, you can see that there is no um, hitbox, but there is on this one. That's because we are using falling sand, as you can see here. So we're summoning falling sand up here, and we are making the time zero, so it disappears instantly. I'm going to get a switch out so I can show this to you. So if I go ahead and place this down, and I just lost the command, I'll just copy paste it from here. So this is going to be stone. So if I go ahead and do this, you can see it just flashes on there for a second, it doesn't stay. And this is not the correct command, actually, unlike these. But And we have these command blocks that are setting it up here, and the motion is zero, and on left and right, and forward and backward. But it's not on the up, because you notice back there, when the sand, when I summoned it, it falled. So these are teleporting the sand up. That's why you see them glitching a little bit. Um... So that's teleporting it up, and the ID for it is 57, which is a diamond block, and the drop item is set to 0. So if this was um, drop item was set to 1, then this would be like falling all over the place. There would be items everywhere. You can also see right there, if I, you can just walk through this, but when you're walking up on it, you can see that there's kind of a glitch there. But um, the reason you can't use half slabs really is because it kind of goes through the the texture gets a little messed up on it so if I just break that fence post if I can and put a half slab let me just turn the timer off so I can show you so if you can see that it's gone now so if I go ahead and put a oh, half slab where it should be there that's where it would be and I turn this back on Oh, of course, I need to place it. <laughs> okay, so you can see it's a fast timer, and you can see that it glitches through the block, so it doesn't look good. So we need to use fence posts or something else that's um, one high. That's So there are a few things that would work. Fences definitely work. I don't think there are any blocks that can go like that. Besides fences, but like no regular blocks. So, but still, if you're walking straight up them, I mean, who's gonna walk like right here on the stairs? It's okay. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this and turn it back on. And yeah, you can see that we have stairs. So, it looks pretty nice and it works exactly like um, slabs do. You can hear the fence post when you walk over it. But um, Yeah, so this um, is all you need just to make, I have two slabs here. If you want a bunch, then you're going to need a command block for every slab that you have. So you can see that this um, is the command to set these to the slabs, and this is setting the block under it to 
a redstone block, and this is setting the block above it to air. So it's really fast. It looks like it's just a regular block, when, but when you break it, it goes back. So it's really fast. And if it's not fast enough, I don't think you can do a uh, comparator timer because that's a little too slow. It would just fall. But yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this over here. Let's just test this out and actually see. So you can see that it's flashing. That's the uh, problem. So you need a fast timer like that one. But yeah, that's pretty good. And if you are pasting this command, or you could just type it by yourself, um, you want to change the tile ID right here to whatever block you're using. So like, I could probably change it to 10, and it would be a lava block. Oops. Okay, I need to make it go down a little more. Just gonna make it two blocks. There we go. So yeah, you can see you could have like a lava wall or something, or lava slabs if you wanted. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, and I hope you enjoy this. Go ahead and go in the description and copy paste that command into your world and hook it up to a fast timer. You may need to adjust it a little bit, like the um, here, the coordinates, but um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.